Hey there, it's Dr. Dave here again. Welcome to another Alice tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to look at um, walking uh, walking animations for our customized character that we've got here that we've built using the He Builder. So, in a previous tutorial, I looked at how we go about creating this character and how we can uh, develop some event driven methods to make the character move around and, and apply some of these expressions. So, let's just quickly apply that to remind ourselves. So, if I press on the up key here, Press and release, then he moves forward. Pressing on C, he does the confused expression and so forth. Alrighty, that's all well and good, but let's imagine that instead of this event here, when the key is typed, we move forward. What if we wanted to change that to while the key is pressed? So typically in a game type situation, we want to continue moving the character forward, provided that we keep our finger on the arrow button. So it gives us much smoother control of the character. So we could attempt to use this walk forward method again. So let's see what happens when we try that. So keeping our finger on the walk forward, a little bit jerky, that's okay. So keeps on walking forward, let's release it then, then we get an error. Now the reason for this error, just quickly, is the fact that the while uh, button is pressed method will stop executing this particular method as soon as we release, release the button. Now the issue with that, if we go and have a look at this method, is that we've got a whole heap of uh, method calls combined together with do togethers, do in orders and so forth with a while loop out the side. And if we try to stop executing this halfway through, depending on where we're up to, we're going to end up getting this error. So that's not quite going to work for us. So we need to do something slightly different. So what I'm going to start off with doing is is use some of this code. So most of this code is really good but I want to get rid of this while loop. So I want to break it down into this code inside of this loop here, the single single sort of step. So I'm going to create a new method and I'm going to call it step. Press an OK and we'll go back into the walk method here and I'm going to copy this code from here, drag it into a clipboard and move it into there. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I've done that. The next step, I want to, what I want to do here is uh, while this button is being pressed, I'm going to call, I'll drag it across from here in fact, I'm just going to get the character to move forward. And we're going to move forward, let's say one meter in a duration of one second. Now strictly speaking I probably should put this inside of a event handler method and then call the method, but for now we'll just do this. But note that we can we can do better than that. So that's just going to if we do that That's just going to move the character forward, but of course we've lost the animation. So to reintroduce the animation, what I'm going to do is introduce some state transition or a finite state machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a variable. It's going to be a Boolean class variable, and it's going to indicate whether or not, so we're going to have a two state system, either the character is walking or they're not. So initially that's going to be false, but when we press on this event we're going to change the state. All right, so here, when we press on that, we're going to change the state to true. And when we finish pressing on it, we're going to change the state back to false. So that's our first step. So that gives us the change of the state for this two-state system that we've got. So what happens? How do we actually deal with that? So what we want to do is, in the background, so while the world is running, let's change that to while the world is running, we're going to have a method which then sort of monitors what the state is and implements the correct uh, state or correct action accordingly. So let's call it, we'll call it a method called do action. And we're going to use a simple if condition 
So I'll put in if true, we're going to... So if the character is walking, if that is true, then what we want to do is... Uh, implement our step function. If it's not, we'll do nothing. So then, what will happen then? Let's call that. So, do action. This method is continually running in the background, and whenever the character is walking, it will do the step action. If they're not walking, it will do nothing at all. So, let's have a look at that. Let's see if we've done this correctly. So you notice now we've got it walking, re-release it, stops walking. Start it again, the character will start walking in. So excellent, we've got it working. Now of course we could, at the moment we've just got a single or two state system, the character is either walking or not walking. We could improve that so we could introduce multiple states, but for now this is enough to get the character walking at least. Alrighty, hopefully that, that's been useful, that sort of answers hope some of the, the questions that have been posted on the forum with, with regards to that. As I said, one possible solution to this, there may be others, but this one seems to work fairly well and we could extend it further with further actions by introducing new states and improving on this particular method that we've got here. Alrighty, that wraps up this tutorial. Hope it's been useful. Uh, catch you next time.